In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best quick hike play in Madden 23. It is PA slot cross out of the Detroit Lions playbook in gun tight. You can also find this play in Washington. And good news for you is I've got ebooks on both of those in my Patreon. If you want to check out all of my ebooks, you can get all of them for one price, 10 bucks. The link is in the description below. Um, I think that that's a great deal for you guys because we have over 23 offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon. I just released a brand new defensive ebook uh, earlier this morning. We released a brand new air raid offensive ebook earlier this week as well. So the play is PA slot cross. And real quick, I wanted to get this out of the way because I can't throw this stupid route to the X, but triangle's wide open. You can throw him at all times. Literally, there's not really a zone in the game that's going to defend triangle. And he is also this like little slot cross route right here. You can throw him to leverage all day long. Like you literally, he's going to be open. You throw that ball. If you have a step, you throw it. Now, if they hard flat real quick, I want to show you something else. I can playmaker him by flicking the right joystick up and kind of throw that into a position, into a very soft spot uh, within, within the zone coverage. Okay. Now, hash marks can make this play better or worse, can make certain routes in this play better or worse as well. Now, if they're running cover four, one of the things that you can do with this is this route to the tight end will basically split the cover four over the top. Now, the question is whether or not I will actually be able to catch uh, one of these in practice mode. I feel like in practice mode, for whatever reason, it's just ridiculously difficult um, to throw this ball. But also, this is also why I actually think you want massive receivers. Like, short receivers, to me, that happens way more than if they're not short. So that's another little pro tip if you want to. You put a big receiver there. I'm going to put Dave Capster there if Taysom Hill doesn't catch this one more time. But basically, you see he's wide open over the top. Hey, he caught it. Look at that. He saved his job. But he's wide open over the top against cover four. He's also going to be open um, against cover two. So really the only counter to Taysom Hill's route is the um, – is cover three so you see here again he's open over the top we'll see if he animates he does and you see there big play against cover two big play against cover four and that ag's pretty consistent as long as he actually reacts to the ball he's going to catch it by free forming and high balling it up you're not going to get the, the defense is not going to get a, a pick um but it does mean you run the risk a little bit of, of of what i showed you there with him like not animating okay um now other hot routes you can do on this play you can put Cooper Cup on an out route. If you don't, if you can't put him on a corner route, put him on an out route. If you can't put him, or if you don't want to do that, put him on a slant and motion him out one step and snap the ball. There's so much you can do with Cooper Cup, okay? He's kind of like a flex player. You can also just let him run his route. And I want to show you something with that. So cover three to me is the best. Um, cover three hard flat defends this the best. And so what you'll see here with Cooper Cup's route is against that cover three, he's actually going to get open to the sideline. So it's a great check down route. Um, and most of the time they're gonna use her that little slot crosser route uh, because of how effective that is. Now the other thing I wanted to say about this is this route to Steve Smith um, is kind of interesting as well. So the Steve Smith route, you can actually kind of ag it to the sideline. So if I freeform it down that side, I can actually click on and and have a chance, uh, have a chance to ag. Um, you know that corner route so that's something else just to kind of keep you uh in the loop on that watch this watch this um this streak you'll notice that he it's one-on-one -on -one, but he's not really that great of a read against cover three in my opinion um he's really better for cover f pretty much everything else like if it's man to man let me show you something with this that's pretty important so let's say that they run press man and they're going to run the cover two man deep Right, this is a defense that's becoming meta. Because of the way this route works, if they run something like that, Taysom Hill, it should be a touchdown. See how he splits the safeties? He's going to cook the man coverage, and you're going to have a touchdown against shaded down man coverage. Really easy. So now they're going to have to be in a situation where they're not running shaded down man. And if they're not running shaded down man, now my corner routes are going to be a lot more open to the sideline, as you see right there. So I'm able to beat man coverage. I'm able to beat um, cover four and cover two zone coverage. And really cover three is the only thing that gives us any trouble. Um, and it is certainly a lot for them to adjust. Now there are some things we can do against cover three. One of those things that you can do um, is actually just basically flip the play and run it to the wide side. 
So if I was to run this and I was on the left hash, or if I just flipped the play for that matter, um, and they're in cover three and they're pressing it, this uh, route to Steve Smith can be kind of glitchy. So we'll show it to you here real quick. So what you'll see is um, he can kind of get in a spot. I think they actually might have changed some of the things with how that play worked against that. But um, he can kind of get to an interesting spot on the field. Uh, but the other thing that I said in the beginning where you can freeform, um, you can freeform an agate. You also have the crosser that you can playmaker up. And then this route to Cooper Cup, if you watch here, when he does this double move, he's going to be a really good check down, really safe little check down over there on the left side. So you literally just snap the ball as fast as possible. What I would recommend doing is if you're in bunch, because the audible to tight is so seamless, you can literally come out in this, audible to this. Now they're having to switch. You're spamming hike as fast as possible, and then you're gone. And if you snap it and you have a good look, you could potentially have that over the top. You know, obviously, if he animates and actually responds to the ball. So, PA slot cross to me um, is one of the best plays in the game. Uh, one of the best plays in the game. This corner route to Steve Smith is actually really good against man. Um, I just find, like, you see how he kind of stops like that? Um, he kind of is not the best against zone like he used to be. He used to be a little better against zone than he is. He's good. At, he's great against cover two. Like, if they're in cover two and they're trying to basically put this guy in a third, then Steve Smith's going to have a, a pretty nice chance, especially if you run it over here. You see he's able to get to the sideline and make a play for us. So um, you have the check down to the crosser and you have the check down to Cooper Cup if they do run cover three. But I think PA slot cross is by far uh, the best quick hike play in the game this year. And if you want to learn more about how to run this as a complete offense, uh, make sure you join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's only $10 to become a member. And I, and you get access to everything. By becoming a member, you get access to all of our eBooks and updates. Thank you for watching the video. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys over at the Patreon page.